Hi, this is Fritz Onion with Pluralsight, and I'll be presenting this module on ASP.NET architecture. What we're going to be focusing on in this module is a look at how ASP.NET fundamentally works. So we'll start off with a discussion of the architecture of ASP.NET, what happens when a request comes in for an ASPX file, and how is that uh, service and how is it handled with respect to IIS. We'll talk about how ASP.NET integrates into IIS, both in IIS 6 and 7, as they differ somewhat, as well as the worker process and the ISAPI integration. Then we're going to step back and take a, a look at sort of the evolution of ASP.NET. How has it um, evolved over time and where is it today? So we'll look at some uh, things like dynamic content, its, its history in classic ASP, as well as the newer server-side controls and uh, data binding and declarative data binding models. So hopefully give you a sense for um, how pages are typically developed in ASP.NET and the, the sort of fundamental techniques for presenting dynamic content. Uh, we'll also take a look at the code behind model. How do you um, specify a class that's going to be used in association with your page? We'll take a look at the page lifecycle, uh, the sequence of events that occur every time a page is processed and how you can tap into them. Uh, event handling as well. We'll look at how to handle events like page load and uh, page init as well as server-side control events like click events for button controls. Um, and then we'll finish up by looking at some special directories that are defined in ASP.NET for things like placing code and deployed assemblies um, as well as a discussion of the shadow copying mechanism which makes it possible to deploy new binaries in your websites without having to shut down the web server. So that's going to be our goal and we'll start off as I mentioned with a discussion of the general architecture and move on from there.